Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Confess to my God, God and, to you, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most deepest fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the ages and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God. Have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that all was pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. The answer for the rich, start crying. Weep for the misery that are coming to you. Your wealth is all rotting. Your clothes are all eaten up by moths. All your gold and your silver are corroding away. And the same corrosion will be your own sin and eat into your body. It was a burning fire that you stored up as your treasure for the last days. Laborers mowed your fields, and you cheated them. Listen to the wages that you kept back calling out. Realize that the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. On earth you have had a lifetime of comfort and luxury. In the time of slaughter you went on eating to your heart's content. It was you who condemned the innocent and killed them. They offered you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This is the lot of the self-confident, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep, they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. I happy the poor in spirit, theirs are the kingdom of heaven. With the morning, their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. I happy the poor in spirit, theirs are the kingdom of heaven. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Though he flattered himself while he lives, men will praise me for doing well for myself. Yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light. Anymore. How happy are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are those who with a noble and generous heart take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with, and with you. your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to your Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone gives you a cup of water to drink just because you belong to Christ, then I tell you solemnly, he will most certainly not lose his reward. But anyone who is an obstacle to bring down one of these little ones who have faith would be better thrown into the sea with a great millstone round his neck. And if your hand should cause you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than to have two hands and go to hell, into the fire that cannot be put out. And if your foot should cause you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life lean than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye should cause you to sin, tear it out. It is better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell, for their worm does not die nor their fire go out. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is a good thing, but if salt has become insipid, how can you season it again? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. The response to our prayers of intercession this morning is We adore you, our Lord and God. We adore you, our Lord and God. We adore and praise our God who reigns above the heavens. He is the Lord of all things, and before him all creation is as nothing. We adore you, O Lord, O Lord. Eternal Father, it is by your gift that we praise you. The wonder of our making is only surpassed by the splendor and joy of our coming to life in Christ. We adore you, O Lord, our God. Lord, be with us all as we start a new day. Move our hearts to seek you and our will to serve you. We adore you, Lord our God. Deepen our awareness of your presence. Teach us reverence and love for all that you have made. We adore you, Lord our God. To know you is to love those you created, that our lives and our work be of service to all our brothers and sisters. We adore you, Lord our God. For all who are poorly in mind or body, for all the many people we know who are receiving treatment of one kind or another, we pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes and Saint Bernadette Subiru that they may be strengthened, sustained, and encouraged particularly in their time of great need. We adore you, O God, O Lord. We pray also for all the many people who are still suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the victims who have died. We adore you, O God, O Lord. Also for all the many families, especially in our own parish, who are mourning the loss of a family member, praying that they may be consoled. We adore you, o Lord, o God. We pray also this morning in a very special way for the people of Ukraine. We pray that peace may be restored to their borders with the help of international goodwill. We adore you, o Lord, our God. Lastly, we pray for the dead. We remember in a special way John Loughran, whose anniversary occurs today. We pray also for those who have gone to God of recent weeks, 
remembering especially Father Shims McGinley, Cheslava Serik, Elizabeth Liz Williamson, and Maureen McParland. And our prayers are also requested this morning for the happy repose of the soul of Peter Gorman, late of Woodgrove, who died on Tuesday and whose funeral arrangements to be announced at a later time. We pray God may welcome these deceased and all our own deceased loved ones into that home he has prepared for them for all eternity. We adore you, Lord our God. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, shed the light of your glory on the peoples who are living in the shadow of death, as you did long ago when our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Justice, came among us from on high through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honour of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, glory Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather and give to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by 
by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin with blessed Joseph her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, St. Bridget, St. Columba, St. Eta, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely upon giving them. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Please to confer in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Eamon our Bishop Michael, his assistant Bishop Shaw, our retired Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, all the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and form, by divine teaching, we give
O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant the peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and sin from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Oh. Um. 
Sacrament glory, O sacrament divine, or grace and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament glory, O sacrament divine, or praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament glory, O sacrament divine, or praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, all my trust in you, immaculate. Heart of Mary, and for continued protection today. O angel of God, my guardian fear, to whom God's love puts me this day here, ever this day lay at my side, to light to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Eternal rest, grant all to them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful depart. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. There will be Mass as normal tomorrow morning here in St. Patrick's at 10 o'clock. The Lord be with, and with you. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.